I am Dr. Andrew Doan, a board certified ophthalmologist. Are you scheduled for cataract surgery? Do you need help choosing a lens for your eye? Do you want to avoid regret and make the perfect lens selection? If deciding on the best lens option is important to you, then you must watch this video to the very end. At the end, I will provide you with four questions they can use to quickly make the lens choice decision that fits your lifestyle and visual expectations. When deciding on an intraocular lens, it is important to consider the following five factors. Number one, what's the near vision quality of the lens? Near vision is the ability to see objects clearly at close range, just as reading a book. Two, what's the distance vision quality of the lens? Distance vision is the capacity to see objects clearly at a distant range, like reading a road sign from a distance. Three, what is the dysphotopsia rate associated with the lens? Dysphotopsias are visual disturbances or optical phenomena such as halos and glare. Four, what is the explantation rate associated with the lens? The explantation rate is the percentage of lens implants that are surgically removed from the patient's eye due to complications or significant visual dissatisfaction with the lens. Number five, what is the out-of-pocket cost for the lens? This is the cost expense for the lens that insurance does not cover. Based on public research and my clinical experience, I will rate the near and distance vision using the following scale. Very poor, poor, fair, good, very good, or excellent. The standard lens is a monofocal intraocular lens, also referred to as the monofocal IOL. Monofocal IOLs have a single fixed focus point, typically set for distance. Patients with monofocal IOLs usually require reading glasses or bifocals for near vision tasks. Some patients choose monofocal IOLs set the focus point for intermediate distances to reduce the need for glasses when using computers or reading at arm's length. These lenses for near vision are very poor to poor. Distance vision is excellent. Dysphotopsias, the monofocal IOLs, are designed to provide clear vision at a distance. Dysphotopsias are relatively uncommon, occurring at about 5 to 10 percent. However, this can vary based on specific design and material of the IOL. Expectation rate are relatively low at 1 to 2 percent. The reasons can include incorrect lens power, decentration, or other complications. Out of pocket costs. These standard lenses used in cataract surgery are covered by your insurance and will typically only cost either zero or the copay. Monovision is a technique where one eye receives an IOL set for distance vision and the other eye for near vision. This approach can reduce the need for glasses for both distance and near tasks, but may affect depth perception. For patients who want to elect for monovision, I recommend them trying that with contact lenses first so that they can make sure that that's the wise decision for cataract surgery. For near vision, monovision, if set for near, is good to excellent. Distance vision in the distance eye is excellent. Dysphotopsia's rates are very similar to monofocal IOLs at around 5 to 10 percent. Explantation rate. Since monovision involves intentionally making the eyes focused differently, there could be some adaptation required. The expectation desire is slightly higher than regular monofocal lenses, but still relatively low at about 2-3%. to Out-of-pocket costs should be similar to that of monofocals. This technique actually involves insertion of standard IOLs. These are the premium lenses that I will discuss next. The first one is a toric IOL. These are designed for patients with astigmatism, a condition where the cornea has an irregular shape. If you have a second set of number in your glasses prescription, then you have an astigmatism, like in this example, 1.00 or one diopter. These lenses correct both cataracts and astigmatism by improving distance vision without glasses. Patients with significant astigmatism may require reading glasses for near tasks. Near vision is rated to poor to fair, unless combined with monovision or other strategies. Distance vision, excellent. Dysphotopsias, these correct for astigmatism. Dysphotopsias are roughly similar to that of the monofocal lenses. Expectation rate, these lenses can sometimes rotate after surgery, causing uh, visual problems, or they may not provide the anticipated astigmatic correction. The desire for expectation can be around two to 4% of patients. Out-of-pocket cost is approximately 1,000 to 2,500 per eye. 
Accommodating IOLs, these are designed to mimic your natural lens and the flexibility in a natural human crystalline lens. By flexing, it allows you to see different objects at very distances. These lenses can reduce the need for glasses, but they may not eliminate it entirely. For near vision, fair to very good distance vision. Excellent. Dysphotopsias, these IOLs can change focus, but their adoption has been limited. Dysphotopsia rates are not extensively documented, but are believed to be in the range of 5 to 15%. Explantation rate. The adoption of these lenses have been limited. The rate of desire for explantation might be in the range of 2 to 4%. Your out-of-pocket cost will be $1,500 to $3,000 per eye. Multifocal intraocular lenses. These lenses are designed to provide clear vision at near, intermediate, and far. These lenses reduce the dependence on glasses for various tasks. Some patients may experience halos or glare, particularly in low light conditions. Near vision, good to excellent, though some may experience halos or glare. Distance vision, good to excellent, with potential for visual disturbances. Dysphotopsias, these lenses have a higher rate of dysphotopsias, with some studies reporting as high as 10 to 30% of patients experiencing such issues. Explantation rate, these lenses have the highest reported explantation rates due to visual disturbances like glare, or halos, or dissatisfaction with near vision. The desire to explant can be as high as 5 to 10%. Out-of-pocket costs will run you at about $1,500 to $3,000 per eye. Extended depth of focus lenses. These lenses provide an extended range of vision with an emphasis on improving intermediate vision. These lenses reduce the need for glasses for tasks such as using a computer or reading at arm's length. Some patients may still require reading glasses for very close up work. Near vision, very good to excellent. Distance vision, dysphotopsias, rates are less than multifocals, but might be still in the range of 10 to 20% of patients with problems. Explantation rate, they tend to have fewer issues compared to multifocals, but there can still be dissatisfaction. The desire for explantation might be around three to 6%. Out-of-pocket costs will run you at about $1,500 to $3,000 an eye. The light adjustable lens. The light adjustable lens is made of a special photosensitive material that changes the shape and power of your implanted lens. UV light is used after surgery to optimize your vision. The light delivery device non-invasively delivers UV light to precisely reshape your lens based on the visual correction that is needed to target your custom prescription. Near vision depends on final adjustment but can range from fair to excellent. Distance vision, excellent if set for distance. Dysphotopsias, initial data suggests dysphotopsias are comparable to monofocal IOLs, but more long-term studies are needed. Explantation rate, while these lenses allow for post-operative adjustments, there might still be instances where the final outcomes are not satisfactory. There's not a lot of data. The explantation rate is about one to 3%, similar to the monofocal IOLs. Out-of-pocket costs, will range about $1,500 to $3,500 per eye. The best overall lens for the price is the standard monofocal lens that is covered by insurance. There is zero out-of-pocket cost aside from your standard deductible. The visual quality is excellent, but you'll have to wear reading glasses for near work and computer work. If you have the money, the best of overall lens based on value is the toric lens to correct for astigmatism. Astigmatism distorts the visual image and these lenses correct the astigmatism for better vision. In my opinion, for patients with astigmatism greater than two diopters, the toric lens is an excellent choice. If you have a active lifestyle that requires you to see far and near without glasses, and you have an easygoing demeanor where slightly blurry vision does not bother you, then the other premium lenses may be a good option. If you had refractive surgery like LASIK, LASIK, SMILE, or PRK, then you should consider the light adjustable lens. Prior refractive surgery that changes the cornea increases the difficulty in calculating the lens power. With light adjustable lenses, refracting power of the IOL is fine-tuned to the correct power to achieve no glasses for distance and sometimes for both distance and near. Your head is probably spinning like mine because when I first started ophthalmology, there was only one lens, the monofocal lens. Now it's like going to Best Buy and trying to purchase a laptop. To simplify things, I promised you four questions that will help you decide which lens to pick. 
I use the following questions for my patients too. Number one, do you mind wearing glasses? If no, then the monofocal lens is recommended where the surgeon picks the lens power to achieve excellent vision for distance without glasses and standard readers for near. If yes, you do mind wearing glasses, then consider question number two. Question number two, do you have the money available for premium lenses? They can cost $2,000 to $6,000 or more, depending on the area that you live in, for lenses to be placed into both eyes. If no, then I recommend the monofocal lens without additional cost to you. If yes, then consider question number three. Question number three, do you have astigmatism that is greater than two diopters of cylinder? Remember, the cylinder in your prescription is the second number in the glasses prescription. If yes, then I recommend the toric lens or the toric multifocal lens for you. If no, then consider the next question. Do you mind having the possibility of slightly blurred vision, halos, or glare? If yes, then I recommend the monofocal lens or the light adjusted lens because the dysphotopsia rates can be two to three times higher in the multifocal lenses and the extended depth of field lenses. If you don't mind having the possibility of slightly blurred vision, halos, or glare, then I recommend the multifocal lens or the extended depth of field lenses. Patients often ask, Dr. Don't, which lens will you use if you have cataract surgery on yourself? Well, not do surgery on myself, but to have inserted in my eye by my cataract surgeon. I respond because I don't mind wearing reading glasses because I usually have them on top of my head or they're down here low so I can do some reading and also see distance because I don't mind wearing reading glasses and I want the clearest vision possible to produce and edit YouTube videos, I will ask for the monofocal lens. And the extra cost associated with the multifocal lenses, which can range from $2,000 to $6,000, I can use that to make more YouTube videos for you. Please share your comments and questions below. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and have found it informative. It will help me greatly to increase the reach to more people if you could like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. In return, I promise you I will give you more health tips and create more videos. Until next time, I wish you health and joy.